tutorial I'll explain how you should consider to write modular and structured dispatcher configurations. So by this time after four tutorials you must be knowing the use and the role of dispatcher with AEM. You must be knowing how to set up a dispatcher configuration with minimal and basic configurations. I have already explained how to set up dispatcher on Mac and Windows with minimum configurations. So that still three configurations, three setups are pending. Set up with the Linux, with Docker, which is AEM as a cloud service, and we will see the web server, Windows web server IIS. So, but before we move on to this, you must know the core configurations. So the basic configuration, basic and minimum configuration are not enough for your actual environment. There are a lot of other configurations which you must know to set up or to run a proper website using web server and web server and dispatcher. So before we move on uh, actual core concepts means core configurations of dispatcher and web server, we must know the proper structure, what you should consider. So as of now, with the basic configurations, we updated only two files, which is httpd.conf, which is the starting point of server and this is the existing file in your web server. Another one is dispatcher.any, which is specific to uh, your dispatcher. So this dispatcher.any contain farm file, and it has some specific configurations for dispatcher which actually interpreted by dispatcher but you will see here these are just two files let's say you are running multiple websites and there will be a lot of configurations as you move on to production you might see a lot of lot of configuration changes and a lot of other configuration as well so you cannot keep all your configuration in just these two files it is not feasible and and it is a real possibility like you can't manage a lot of configuration in just two files. So what we will do here is we will structure or divide these configurations into multiple files. This is recommended by Adobe as per the dispatcher 2.0. So I'll try to move these configuration from the basic structure or unstructured file to a proper structured way. It won't be a complete dispatcher 2.0 structure with but it will almost same they're just a one thing i'll not explain as part of this tutorial we'll see that in coming tutorial but you can consider its structure is almost same it's not not mandatory to have this structure only you can create your own folders as well but this is just for your reference so this is a structure which i will be following in coming tutorial so that's why i'm explaining it to you so that you don't confuse so i have a file httpd which is the starting point of your web server inside this i'll be creating two folders confd and conf.dispatcher.t inside this i'll be creating few folders to contain specific configurations like we, uh, we'll see what is those if you did follow previous tutorials so dispatcher dot any contain different sections different section for the farm is the actually the sections which dispatch dispatcher dot any contain and that it farm contains subsections for configuration like cache filters header renders virtual host a lot of things and there's other section which where you will be creating actual virtual host which i did not explain you in that tutorial means previous tutorial i show you the basic virtual host the section of virtual host but this virtual host can have multiple configurations many configurations which are mandatory to run your website right so how it will be happened so you consider we had two files httpd and dispatcher.any in my two previous tutorials so how it will happen now i'll be creating a file called dispatcher underscore vhost.conf name is not mandatory you can have any name okay inside this i'll call this file dispatcher.any okay and this file the first file will be in this folder so this this will be in this folder and dispatcher any will be in this folder after that i'll create some folders means subdirectories to keep this information so i'll whatever the sections i will be using in this those set those sections or those configuration will be in a separate file okay 
So that means this can contain multiple form files for the multiple configurations of multiple websites and each form I will explain here. You will see when I will be keep explaining it, you will understand. Cache will be in this folder, filters will be in this and keeps on and so on. You can create your own folder as well. It's not a rule to have only these folders. You can have more or less as per your need. Same way related to the dispatcher means we host dispatcher we host will keeping the rules variables wireless whatever we need so we will what we'll do for each website we will have separate configuration rather than I'll not keep the multiple websites configuration in the same file okay we'll see that so now I'll be showing you this in Mac same way you can apply in your windows if there is a syntax change I will mention in comments so I'll show you the demo in a Mac machine so this is my server folder on Mac machine and this is the starting point of my server so if I open this I remove all the previous configurations I only keeping this dispatch this mole this include means the dispatcher module include even if you want you can keep this in another for file as well it's completely up to you so what I'm doing right now I'm including I'm including all the dot con file from conf dot d you this is the absolute path you can have related path as well relative path as well so in coming tutorial i'll show you how to add the relative path but important thing is you should add this so what happen when you add this statement it will include the file from this and which is this file dot conf right once this is loaded okay it has all the configurations what we had earlier in httpd so what happened this here i'm again i'm loading the dispatcher dot any from this folder from this folder okay so now from httpd it came here and then i loaded dispatcher dot any which is the starting point of your dispatcher configurations all right now everything here Below this, this you know, right? This this it, if module was there in HTTPD. After the, these are the some basic configuration. I'll explain in coming tutorials. Now, what I'm doing here, if you see, I'm adding all the virtual host from this conf.d and available vhost. You can name it anything. So what happened? Once this load, it will load all the vhost from this file. I mean this folder. Okay whatever the vhost we have or dot vhost if you see here all right it will load all the vhost files right so in future however how many vhost we have it will load here we'll see that use case where we need where and when you need multiple vhosts right we'll see that in detail in coming tutorial don't worry about it as part of this tutorial just understand the structure basic structure what we are going to follow and this dispatcher dot any if you see i'm including all the farm files so what i'm saying in this farm this is the main tag or that uh, this which include all your farm files means for the multiple different different websites so what i'm saying here include all whatever dot form file you find in this available form so whatever form file it find from here it will include all okay inside this let's say now it has only one form file so in future it will have multiple so it will include multiple so now what i'm saying okay the name is publish for this form file rather than add here rather than add this headers here i'm writing those header in a file called client headers dot any and I'm including that file as well now you will see the relative path so if you check here there must be a folder in this headers and this contain this file so ra same way if you check here virtual host I'm including from the another file so basically I'm not writing anything here I'm just writing these things in a separate file separate separate files and just including here means up after this statement it will load these files here same way for the caching i'm doing the same thing including rules here from the another file so same way it's happening for all like cache i'm allowed 
heading from here so these are rather than you populate everything in the same file we are making it modular so once we need another website we will add the configuration for the specific website so I hope you understood what structure we are going to follow in coming tutorials to explain these configurations. So what I'll do, I'll make a git repo for these configurations and I make, I will make two branches in the same repo, one for the Mac and one for the Windows for your future reference. You can take configuration from there and just configure at your local machine. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.